back on the track. Welcome back to Lincoln. I know, this is amazing. It brings Carmen Best right back to high school, where she learned early, winning isn't everything. If you're not gonna win, did you improve? Did you get a little better? She didn't just get better. At the age of 17, she was among the best, breaking the girls' state record in the 1600 meter relay. It was the culmination of practice, discipline, disappointment, and determination, all lessons she carries with her now. Well, when times are tough, uh, we know that you have to keep trying. Best knows a thing or two about tough times. In two wide-ranging interviews, she talked to us about her rise to the top of the Seattle Police Department, racism that she's encountered along the way, and what led to her departure. We will not be divided! In May, protests erupt in Seattle against police brutality and systemic racism. But they reopened after the police death of George Floyd. Protesters took over six city blocks. Leaving the precinct was not my decision. Best lashed out after her officers were forced to vacate the East Precinct. Police were called out, criticized for using tear gas and blast balls against demonstrators. As demands to defund the police grew louder, the council responded, voting to slash $4 million from the SPD budget, putting 100 officers' jobs on the chopping block, and cutting the chief's salary by 40%. Do you think the city council would be treating you this way if you were a white male police chief? Have you ever seen a white male police chief sideline and treated the way that I've been treated? I can't say that I have in Seattle. I bet you haven't. So, after two years in the top job, that was it. I'm done can't do it. It was her way, she says, of getting out of the way. Thank you all for all the work. I think it's difficult for people of color to look at what happened to you and not see that it's partly about race. It's hard for people not to you know, make that assumption, but often I say, I don't know. I found it very disheartening. Uh, the way that they went about singling me out. We reached out to the Seattle City Council Chair, Lisa Herbold. She provided a statement pointing out that she reached out to correct best salary cut and added, I do wish I'd known how to be more intentionally supportive of Chief Best in recognition of her extremely difficult position as a black woman leader in a traditionally male-dominated employment sector while still fulfilling my responsibility as an elected. Do you think it was their way of putting you, Carmen Best, in her place? I absolutely think that was some of their intention. You know, I challenged their thoughts. I said what I believe their decision making was not inclusive and that it was quite frankly reckless. And I honestly just did not want to continue in that vein, to have other people's jobs and lives affected uh, by the mean girl attitude. The timing of Best's departure comes as those crying out for justice are losing patience. Of course we don't want officers to abuse us, to beat us, to treat us wrong and unfairly and unjustly. Nobody wants that. But we do want somebody to respond if we're victimized and crime is occurring. And yet she has some of the same concerns as many of you. That's right, this career officer and former chief has had to warn her family members about how to behave around police she's given them the talk to. Is that a talk that you expect your daughters will have with their children? It is my greatest hope and prayer that they don't need to have that talk. It really is. They will, don't you think? They might. You know, if I, if I, if I just say that they're going to and that's that, then I just can't you know, operate in an in a area where I just don't have any hope for the future. I really do hope for the future that we get to a point uh, where, you know, institutional racism, racist acts, bias, that we get to a place where that is so rare, it's non-existent, you know. Uh, and if we don't work toward that and we don't have hope for the future, then what's the point? Hope for the future, informed by her past. Many of us who lived here, went to school here, still stay in touch. Best took us back to her old neighborhood. Do you have fond memories? I do. Best believes it's important to learn from the past. It's why she's a believer that black lives matter. People have asked about black lives matter, blue lives matter, all lives matter. And what I say to them is I think the reason that people point out specifically black lives matter is because African Americans have over the history had a long history of being oppressed and have had um, 
particularly with law enforcement, have had law enforcement be a part of that oppression in many ways and used to maintain the status quo. She's looking ahead, non-committal, but not ruling out a return to uniform. For now, she plans to enjoy her newest role of grandmother. If there is one thing that you'd like to see change within the lifetime of your grandchild, what would it be? You know, Joyce, we have to strive for equity. And I absolutely believe we shouldn't ignore the fact that we all have our differences. But when we change the mindset to we embrace and appreciate those differences, you know, that's the key thing. And I want to hope, you know, I absolutely believe at some point, you know, we'll get there.